<laughs> okay, look at that. Flux is absolutely crazy. It's the newest AI image generator. Uh, it was released in August 2024. I'm interested to see if GPT-4 is able to tell the difference between real images and AI generated images by Flux. Let's find out. You are an expert in identifying AI generated images. I am going to share a series of two images and I want you to tell me which one you believe to be AI generated. Be direct in your response and provide a concise rationale for your decision. Okay, so first I'm gonna grab an image from Flux's website, just some of their sample images. Um, I like this one here at the bottom because it's hyper-realistic. It's a, a man laying on a couch. I'm gonna copy that and paste that in. Next, I'm finding a comparable image, a real image of a man sitting on a couch or a chair rather, but a kind of similar subject matter. I'm gonna copy that and paste that in. Okay, let's see what it says. <laughs> Look at this, oh my gosh. Look at this right off the bat. Based on examining the two images, I believe the second image, the one with the older man using a phone, is more likely to be AI generated. Now that is the image I got from the internet. That's a real image. This is the image generated by Flux, man laying on a couch. GPT-4 has incorrectly chosen the real image as the AI generated image. Let's listen to its rationale. Based on examining the two images, I believe the second image, the one with the older man using a phone is more likely to be AI generated. Here's why. One, uniformity and simplicity. The background in the second image is very plain and lacks detail, which is a common characteristic in many AI generated images that aim to minimize complexity in less relevant areas. Two, lighting and shadows. The lighting on the man in the chair does not fully match the rest of the environment. This inconsistency can sometimes be a clue of AI generation, where lighting conditions are simulated and not always accurate. Three, texture and detail. The textures in the first image, such as the couch fabric and the window view, have more realistic detailing and variety compared to the relatively flat appearance of elements in the second image. These indicators are not foolproof, but are commonly wow. used to differentiate between AI generated images and authentic photographs. Wow. Wow. Fascinating. So I, from what I can tell here, here's the flux again. Gosh, look at all the textures. It's so good. Oh my gosh. You can, his hands though, I think, I think they're struggling a little bit with skin, the texture of flesh. I mean, some of the other examples I've seen are a little better. Um, but I, I, what GPT-4 is basically saying is like, hey, this is too perfect. <laughs> there's, there's too much inconsistency in shadow. Like the background is basically one color. I mean, but this is kind of standard like studio photography, right? I mean, the, the weird thing, the weird thing about this exercise, the truly weird thing was how do I know this is a real image? I just found it on the internet. I mean, let's look at the source again. Um, the, the source is iStock. I mean, that's by Getty Images. I mean, I think that's going to be pretty reliable. This is their whole business is is selling real images. I mean, so here's the image in iStock, right? It's crediting it to ProStock Studio. Let's see if we can find anything out about them. Oh, it says portrait of a mature man using smartphone. I mean, it, it's not calling out any anything regarding AI generation. It's saying a portrait. Um, it looks like it's a, a real image. Okay, let's, let's grab another Flux example. Um, so... Uh, Vinzi uh, over on X posted this uh, this thread here. Um, I'm just going to scroll down and find a still. I thought these were kind of interesting, boring Snapchat photo circa 2015. Um, look at that. Gosh, that is so convincing. All right, let me just take a screenshot of this. I'm going to make sure that the arrows on the left and right are not included in the image in case that's a little bit of a giveaway. Actually, you know what? Let me grab the real photo first just to kind of mix things up a little bit. So I'm just searching high school student selfie. Um, this is an image from New York Times. Let me grab this. And then back to this flux image, paste that in right here. And let's try this out again. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. So for these two images, the second image appears to be more likely AI generated. So it got this one correct. It got this one. I wonder if the text is a giveaway. Um, that's the thing that's jumping out to me. I didn't notice that earlier. So again, here's the real image from New York Times article. And here's the flux image. Let's listen to the rationale a bit. For these two images, the second image, 
the one with the young woman in a classroom, appears more likely to be AI generated. Here's why. One, complexity of scene. The first image, selfie with a blue background, has a more straightforward and realistic scene, typically found in personal photos, while the second image has a background with multiple elements that don't have as much depth or texture detail as would typically be expected in a photograph. Okay. Two, quality and detail. The details in the second image, such as the slightly blurred and indistinct background elements and the lighting on the person's face, are common in AI-generated images, where the focus is more on the subject than on creating a high-fidelity environment around them. 3. Consistency and texture The lighting and shadows in the second image do not entirely match up. For example, the face is very brightly lit compared to the generally softer lighting in the rest of the scene. The first image displays consistent lighting and textural details across the subject and background. These observations lead to the suggestion that the second image may be AI-generated, primarily based on the less realistic and consistent environmental details and lighting. Wow, fascinating. So it's kind of saying, hey, this is a selfie. It's a really complex setting, complex background. You know, AI is more likely to throw a bunch of extra objects and and information into the frame um, versus this kind of very simple background and what we might typically see in a selfie. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, I wouldn't have thought to analyze AI generated images that way, but that's interesting. Um, it did not mention the text on her uh, sweater here. Um, so, you know, maybe GPT-4 actually struggles to read that as well. But um, the other thing it called out, which I think makes a lot of sense, is the lighting. Look at the lighting on her face. There's a, there's a highlight right here on her forehead. Her face is just very well lit. Um, but look at the actual lighting in the scene. It's these kind of overhead, very, um, not the most flattering, you know, lighting that you would see in a, in a classroom setting. And, and this is much more realistic in terms of how that type of lighting is going to light up someone's face. You can see her arm, the highlights are here on her arms, not on her face, which makes more sense. So ver very interesting stuff. It actually got this one right. Okay, last flux example I'm going to grab from this same thread by Finzi. I think this is going to be kind of funny. Let's grab the one that um, is a flux generated image of, of a woman holding up a handwritten sign that says, I am not real. So the answer is literally in the image. Um, let's see if GPT-4 is able to parse out this clue and then take it seriously enough to get the right answer. Okay, this one's kind of similar. It's um, a, a woman holding a handwritten sign as well. Um, in this case, the sign says hashtag best mom. Let's paste that one in there. Okay, here we go. Let's see, see what it says. <laughs> okay, look at that. Um, the first image appears to be AI generated. It says, ironically, the message on the sign itself is a direct indicator often used in artistic context to denote an AI generated image or to create thought provoking peace. <laughs> so it was able to parse out this detail and take it seriously enough to say, hey, I think the first one's AI generated compared to this second image. Um, the other clues here, facial features and expression. The facial features, especially of the woman holding the sign, are almost too symmetrical, perfect, and smooth, which is characteristic of some AI-generated images that tend to be idealized versions. She's talking about this section of the image right here. Very symmetrical, very smooth. Look at those eyebrows, just perfect. Um, and then background and context consistency. There's a slight mismatch in the focus and quality between the two women and the car's interior. The woman in the background appears more naturally integrated into the setting than the one in the foreground. Um, I guess so, yeah. Um, this is a bit of, I mean, who's taking this image? Uh, she'd have to kind of put up a phone or a camera on a tripod or something. Um, I agree that the woman in the background does look more natural in the setting. So that's an interesting comment. Um, so there you have it. Fun little test. GPT-4 was able to get two out of the three correct uh, when putting it up against Flux. Um, let me know what model you want me to test next. Catch you later. Peace.